All right, we're going to be using the law cosine today. We're going to be calculating missing angles, which is probably the hardest part of the law cosine. So let's go ahead and write the law cosine down real quick. It is nice and simple. It is c squared equals to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of c. And just as a reminder, it is the Pythagorean theorem. That's what that is. That is simply the Pythagorean theorem. Okay. However, the Pythagorean theorem only works with uh, right triangles. Um, so we had to adjust it just a little bit. And so this is the section right there that allows us to work with non-right triangles. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and, and use this. So find the unknown angle measure. So let's go ahead and start by finding the measure of angle C. Let's start right here and say, let's go ahead and find this angle right here. We'll uh, angle C. Now, the law of cosine is nice and easy. We start it like the law of sine, which means that we start at an angle and we go clear across to the other side. Now, just like the law of sine, we want to have one thing missing out of the two pieces. So the angle can be missing or the side can be missing. In this case, the angle is missing. So that's how we start it. Now, um, at this point with the law of cosine, uh, we look at the sides of the angle that we're originating at. So we actually make a turn towards the sides that are right there. Now, here's the cool part. It kind of makes a sword. Some people think that's corny, but it does help me out. It kind of makes a cool sword. In this little busy area here where we have the missing angle and the two sides of the handle of that sword, that is simply this section of the equation, the longer section of the equation. And then of course, what it's equal to right out here, that's the C squared. So I like to think of it as a sword. The handle goes in the long part of the section because it's got a lot of pieces and the point of the sword is all by itself lonely. All right, so let's go ahead and fill it in. So C squared right out here is 1.41. I'm so going to write 1.41 squared equals two. And then I just fill in the sides, A, B, A, B. So that is three and 2.5. So three squared plus 2.5 squared minus two times, and then I just do it again, three times 2.5. And then I'm going to put cosine of C. Okay, so now here's the thing about this, is we have to have an inverse in here, and this is where it gets kind of ugly, um, and where the cosine is at its hardest. So I'm going to underline three parts, and those three parts are what we're going to calculate first. We're going to calculate this, we are going to combine these two, and then we are going to make this calculation right there. Uh, we're going to do that in Desmos, um, and those are the three pieces we have to have first. So 1.41 squared, and then I'm going to put three squared plus 2.5 squared, okay? And then I'm gonna do negative two times three times 2.5, okay? And what I'm gonna do is once I've got that information, I'm just gonna go ahead and write it into place. So 1.988, let's just go ahead and run, write, write the value of two. Three squared plus 2.5 squared is 15.25. And then I've got negative 15, so negative 15 times cosine of C. So no, we broke all those pieces into three individual calculations, okay? Now at this point, we just solve it like it's a regular algebra problem. Um, I'm gonna subtract that 15.25, okay? And then after I subtract that 15.5, so I'm gonna take two minus 15.25, that's going to give me negative 13.25 equals to negative 15 cosine of C. I'm going to divide by negative 15 because it's attached by multiplication. So they're inverses. So let's go ahead and take that negative 13.25 and divide it by negative 15. And that's going to give me 0.883. Okay, so uh, 0.883 equals to cosine of C. And now with that being said, this is an inverse problem. So C is going to be equal to cosine inverse because we're looking for an angle inverse because need an angle. Okay, 
Okay. I'm going to put cosine inverse uh, 0.883 into Desma. So let's go do that real quick. So cosine, remember, uh, when we type in the inverse, it's like typing in an exponent, but it's not actually an exponent, 0.83. Um, and as I put that in, the one thing I do want to make sure, because I'm not 100% sure, is I'm going to come over to the graph settings. I'm going to make sure I am in degrees, and I am, so our answer is 27.99 or 28. So this is going to be uh, C equals to 28. C. And it is an angle of 28 degrees. Now, once we've got that, this becomes 28 degrees. Um, if I want to find any other angles or sides, I move from here to the law of sine because I've got enough information to continue with the law of sine. So there is the uh, law of cosine and solving for missing angles. I uh, hope that helps. And remember, break it into those three pieces so you can solve easier.